We're lucky in this area, and maybe we don't, we don't always realize it, because we do have so much of our native ecosystem left with the Red Hills plantations that have been maintained with fire for many years. Places like this that have been protected from development. And so the natural community is here as it has been for hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. Lost Creek Forest in Thomasville, Georgia, gives us a glimpse of what forests looked like before European settlement. It may also give us an insight into the people who lived here then. From a Native American standpoint, an indigenous person standpoint, areas like this were important. Um, just like those of you that are hunters nowadays, you know that critters like to live where there's edge, where there's different habitat types that come together. This is a natural edge between the frequently burned uplands and the bottomlands. Important items like clothing and rope were made from available plants and animals. This is yucca. Yucca filamentosa. There's some of it over there. See that? Get you down to the fiber and just, that's just... Joe bad. is making Very a bowstring. You can put it in your mouth and go like this. And that's a lot quicker, okay? Just twist it with both hands at the same time. Yucca is one of the many plants that make Lost Creek biologically unique. To members of the community, it's an ecosystem worth saving. It's a really special remnant of what the natural landscape was like before the Europeans came. In 2008, there was a plan to turn this into an industrial park, and we had a grassroots movement, and in five weeks we did just an amazing uh, organizational job and convinced the county not to uh, sell it for that purpose. And this is partridge berry that you see growing here underneath. You'll see some with little red berries on it. That's a native plant and it's a good indicator of a holly berry. Somebody relatively <laughs> undisturbed areas. This was one of the two vines that the botanists all said this is a old growth, non-disturbed forest because they wouldn't be here in this quantity. In the old growth, the community has been growing and changing on its own over the millennium and anything that's been cut or certainly farmed and plowed and that kind of thing, it just never will be that same way. They have a lot of trees and a lot of species here that you find further north, and you see them in assemblages here that you don't see a lot in our area. We're actually very close to the headwaters of the Alcilla. Lost Creek is one of the main headwaters. And the Alcilla flows down from here in Thomas County and flows all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. And it's a very important river ecologically, historically. It's a clean river and it all starts right here. So from that fact alone, it's really important to preserve areas like this because they are the headwaters of our rivers. A similar slope forest property was saved in neighboring Grady County. And Wolf Creek is just so unique. I mean, we don't know that there's that many trout lilies anywhere in the world, certainly of that species. And here it is in South Georgia, where it doesn't really even quote belong. Where Lost Creek feeds the Ocilla, Wolf Creek feeds the other main Red Hills River, the Oclockney. Funding for Roaming the Red Hills has been provided by Tall Timbers Research Station and Land Conservancy.